going on folks this is jacob shoot filling in for tom o'brien let's take a look big news of the day is that uh, ppi wasn't uh, as bad as anyone as everyone anticipated uh, wholesale inflation rose just 0.2 percent for march which is uh, below expectations uh, the dow jones economist had forecast the wholesale price would rise 0.3 in the ppi 0.6 in February and 0.4% in January, everything was good. It looks like uh, this sent the market a little bit higher, uh, kind of easing fears of a longer term uh, horizon for the beginning of interest rate cuts from the Fed. Now, you had a few interesting things go on with it. Well, before we go into that, let's take a look. We had the ES Mini up about 0.89% right now, uh, the Russell up 0.72. These, man, you know, Obviously, with a lot of the tech companies, you know, these are interest rate dependent. You know, you have valuations for everyone from the discounted cash flow and kind of these more unique models that, that deal with the interest rate. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of people investing them and in, in, in buying a lot of these novel products uh, are affected by the inflation, excuse me, the high interest rates as well. But you can kind of see in the NQs and then also the QQQ uh, that the tech is doing okay today. Uh, the Dow futures up 0.25%. Gold ripped on that, uh, really, from this news with the PPI. Kind of this idea that inflation is, in fact, slowing down. Uh, silver up 1.4% today. Uh, copper, sadly, still under that 4.3 uh, mark for the futures, but silver trading at 28.44. Uh, crude oil off slightly, uh, still at 85.33 uh, a barrel. Still in that 85 era area. Let's take a look. Two, Tesla up 1.76 today. Uh, Steel Dynamics staying pretty strong, right at that 140 five level we've been kind of seeing it do that uh, this past week now the dollar is still up we're at in the 105 region up at 105 27 of course went over to the queues as 1.7 google 1.89 uh seems they're going to be relatively or analysts are suggesting they're going to be relatively uh, competitive uh, in the ai sphere uh, especially considering considering uh, what microsoft has going on meta trading up 0.54 percent in disney back up to 118 so and then Apple, of course, at 3.7% today. It's a good move for a lot of the tech guys. Um, so with what with, with what happened, okay, you had the PPI coming in cooler than anticipated. This was after the Wednesday report um, being a, of CPI being a lot higher. Uh, not a lot higher, but, you know, marginally higher than people anticipated. Uh, this PPI report kind of helped balance the market out, right? So it's this idea that when CPI came in hotter than anticipated, uh, that the horizon for Fed rate decreases or cuts um, was was going to be extended, right? And we've been talking about that on the show when I fill in. What's interesting is that you had two conflicting ideas, right? So uh, I think a lot of people were anticipating this June cut to begin. You had Biden come out and say that he could see rates being cut sooner rather than later or something akin to that, which I thought was strange because that has no bearing on you know, what the government does, uh, the Fed's its separate kind of entity, you know. Uh, and then you had the IMF director come out and say that they'll probably start cutting rates in America at the end of the year, obviously way past June. So we're getting this kind of weird conflicting information. I think the market clearly wants lower rates because anytime they get a hint uh, <laughs> of anything relatively positive regarding inflation cooling, uh, things rip off. You know, like we're seeing today, I mean, look at gold coming up 1.34%. Um, you know, that's a lot of action in a market that had been dead uh, for some time. You know, what is the what is the true answer? I, I don't know. But what you can see is that some of these larger uh, institutions are moving into Europe a little bit. And we'll talk a bit about that uh, later when we get into the show. However, before we get uh, too entrenched in the news of the day and kind of analyses, I want to take a look right here. Uh, this is tomorrow morning. All right, at 9 a.m. to noon Easter time, this is going to be the inaugural uh, stream of live trading Fridays with Larry Pesavento. Okay, so how this works is it is a monthly subscription, okay, and every month on the second and fourth Friday of that month, we will have Larry trading live in the den in his own separate room, um, and that's from, from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time. So that is every month, two times a month. And this is a monthly subscription. I believe we have Larry uh, on with us now. Am I right about that? You are sort of a psychic, Jacob. Look at yes, that. I'm here. <laughs> I can feel you back there, you know. What's, how you doing, Larry? 
I was just living the dream on the green side of the grass. As right always, on. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're having great volatility. These are these are the kind of markets that we love to see. So uh, we should have a fun day. We had a pretty good two days in a row. But, you know, you just never know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's a Friday. Uh, in a, you know, it was a down week. And now we've had this giant move mm -hmm. up, which was not unexpected because we had so many ABCDs on the bottom today in the Dow Jones and then also yesterday in the NASDAQ and today in the S&P. But uh, we'll have some good moves. We had a monster move in gold uh, today and also silver. And uh, crude oil surprised everybody to the downside, and we got a little bit of the short side of that. So we're looking forward. We got a lot of gifts for the folks, uh, you know, stuff that they'll be able to use. And uh, But, you know, it's going to be a recurring thing. We'll do it for a couple of months, see how it works out. But uh, three hours uh, on a Friday, I mean, that's that's a that's a breeze. I mean, I do this one hour show every day and that goes, you know, faster than a speeding bullet. So three hours is not going to be very difficult to get done. And we have plenty of trading opportunities. We had a beautiful buy signal in Apple today and that had a monster move. But, uh, yeah. you know, some some days it's not like that. You just never know. But I hope everybody, you know, gives it a shot. And uh, if it doesn't make any money, then you don't have to subscribe. It's that simple, you know. <laughs> well, Larry, I'll we say, you know, I, I monitor a lot of the, the webinars you do in the beginning of your webinars. Uh, you always open trade positions, right? And we go through it. The way it works yes. is you'll say something, we'll put that in the den so you can follow along. And uh, mm -hmm. honestly, I I know we had, I, th I think it was the last webinar, uh, but we had some pretty happy attendance. So, Well, uh, we've done six, and all six of yep. them have made money. A yep. couple of them have done monsters, but the others, you know, made the, you know, subscription price, which is only, you know, three, a couple hundred dollars. So that's pretty easy to do. But, you know, you, I'm going to probably do somewhere between three and five trades. Mm -hmm. Then I answer questions, and I've got information to show people uh, things that they can study when they go home. You know, they're going to get a free book, my artificial intelligence book that I uh, wrote but never published. Well, it's published, but I, I didn't sell it. I'm going to be giving it away to the attendees. In fact, I'll, I'll get that book to you, Jacob, and you right can on. make sure that everybody gets it. So I'm looking forward to, you know, having a nice crowd like we usually do. So it'll be fun. And, hey, thanks for having me on here to give a little plug. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Larry, we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m., all right? You got it, brother. Thank you very much. And thanks. we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. May God bless. Sounds good. And remember, folks, when you're checking out this for this month only, you type in Larry Live at check out saves you $50 for as long as you subscribe. Stay tuned. Bye.